Here's a GRE quantitative comparison question. Let's take a look. For all positive numbers p, the operation triangle is defined by p triangle equals p plus 1 over p. And then we have quantity A and quantity B here, 2 sevenths triangle triangle, or 3.5. Well, let's take a step back here, because at this point your head might be spinning a little bit. You see this symbol and you're like, I don't recognize that at all. Is that some math knowledge I'm supposed to have that I just, I just missed? Well, no, it's not. And in fact, this problem is very, very straightforward because the operation is defined for us. It tells us exactly what this means, even though this looks a little complicated. What this means is that for any number p, I should say any positive number p, any positive number p, uh, p triangle means you take p and you add 1 over p. So this is a generic construction, but let's use a specific example. 1's a positive number, right? So one triangle, according to this, would equal 1 plus 1 over 1. And two triangle would equal 2 plus 1 over 2. Yeah, you're starting to get the hang of it, right? And bob triangle, just to be very generic here, would equal bob plus 1 over bob, right? And so on and so forth. So let's use this knowledge now to evaluate the expression that we have here. 2 sevenths triangle. And this is, this is nested, right? So it's like a parentheses within a parentheses. We'll start with the inside one, which is 2 sevenths triangle. Well, I could write this out as 1 plus 1 over 2 sevenths. But then I have fractions within fractions. It's a lot of uh, fraction manipulation. It's not a lot of fun. Um, what I would suggest doing here is using the most valuable tool that you have on the GRE, aside from your brain, which is the calculator, right? You have, a, you have access to a calculator at all times. So what you can do is turn 2 sevenths into a decimal, namely about, it's, I think it's 0.29. You can double check this on your calculator. So really what this is, is 0 0.29 triangle, right? 0 0.29 triangle, and then we'll do another triangle after that. But let's start with the inside one. So 0 0.29 triangle is going to equal, I'll write this out again, 0 0.29 uh, triangle is equal to uh, 0 0.29 plus 1 over 0 0.29, right? And when we do that, when we calculate this out, this is 0 0.29 plus 1 divided by 0.29, again, on your calculator, please. This comes out to roughly something like, I think it's like 3.7. Again, do, do the math on your own. Just type it into your calculator. Comes out to about 3.7. And so what this function is telling us to do is we do this one first, and then we do the triangle again. So we're going to do 3.7 triangle. And I could write this out. I could write out or calculate this out, 3.7 plus 1 over 3.7. But here's the thing. I've already gone over 3.5 right? 3.7 is bigger than 3.5 and I'm adding a little something, I'm still going to be greater than 3.5. And that means that quantity A is the correct answer here. For more GRE tips and tricks or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.